Kingfish Fridays. Kingfish Fridays. Yeah. Tally ho, my name is Kingfish Ocean and welcome back to Kingfish Fridays. Now this week we're going freehand because, I don't know, I felt like it was just better to go freehand rather than setting up my tripod and setting it all up, which is actually right next to me. But this week, if you haven't guessed by the title, I thought uh, this is kind of a mini update and also a setup showing at the same time. But in the past week, I actually have been, oh my arm's really aching, this camera's like really heavy. <laughs> but I've actually decided to move a, lo uh, move a lot of my setup around because of the fact that I mentioned that I had some health problems. It turns out I've, everything's perfectly fine. My heart's okay, that was just because I was drinking too many energy drinks, which makes sense. But I actually have a lot of problems with my neck and my shoulder, my left shoulder mainly, and my right shoulder and my back, and it turns out it's all posture related, I have incredibly bad posture, so I was told by the doctor I need to start making some changes, otherwise, you know, it could affect me even further, it could, you know, it, it, I'm just going to be in a lot of pain, and eventually it could cause, like, a lot more serious consequences sometime far off in the future. Nothing to worry about though, it's just something i got to work on, which I am doing. But anyway, so I've decided to make the decision to move all my stuff into my bedroom, which I know is an incredibly strange, yeah, by the way, you're kind of tilting downwards because I am really weak, like seriously, and this camera is quite heavy. You know what? I'm just gonna put you down. I'm just, that didn't work. Screw it, I'm just gonna have to put up with it. Oh man. So I moved everything into my bedroom, my computer, my microphone, all the stuff that was downstairs pretty much, and I've kind of made a mini setup that is it's very fucking horrible. It does not look good at all. And my room is an absolute mess, and I'm gonna show you that just in a second. But I did this because I was just in so much pain recording videos that sometimes I couldn't sit there for a solid amount of time. You guys may have seen me in videos going like that, oh, ah, oh, or something like that, or I may have been in the video and I just cut it out, but it was very painful to record. And also, the best thing about this is, and this is the good news about this, is that because I've moved my setup now, I actually have a lot more freedom to record because I was downstairs, it was very central. People would, you know, would be the risk of, you know, my sister and her boyfriend like coming in and out because I live with my sister now, if you didn't know and, you know, moving around doing stuff, blah 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 blah, you know, and it's it's interruptions for the video. Some of them could have been funny, you know, could have been good content, but also the cats kept getting in the way and that was starting to really bother me because they were putting me on edge because one of the cats even tried attacking me during a video the other day and that video didn't actually get released, that is the one video that got corrupted, but one of the cats actually started trying to scratch my legs and it was just really freaking really annoying me but they were just causing so much trouble during videos swap hands oh. so i thought i'd show you guys my bedroom and the setup that i've got once again disclaimers <laughs> it's not pretty so if i see any comments that's like oh it's a terrible setup oh my god unsubscribe dislike and i'm reporting you to the federal police what but please don't do that <laughs> then i'm probably just going to delete the comment to be honest because like i said it's not a pretty setup it's not a good setup it's just a setup that I'm going to be making making do with in order to make my channel better, in a sense, in order to progress and do a little bit better. Sometimes things don't look pretty, what can I say? I've never been one for a pretty setup. But anyway, so I'm going to quickly reset up my camera and then I'm going to show you the bedroom. So this is the corridor, and as you enter, you'll already see I have a hell of a lot of mess. Just, that's my PlayStation 4 right there, by the way. <laughs> There's a bag, bag there with cleaning products in it, and then I've got my 360 box, which is here. It's not got a 360 inside it, because the 360 is actually over there, all set up. My hand looks super blurry. <laughs> this box here actually has a bunch of my Xbox One games in. I think that's Dead Rising 3 right there, and a couple of PS4 games in that I have. I only have like three or four, and I've got the box, and there's just a bunch of crap, just a bunch of paperwork. That's actually trash, that bag. I need to take that out. Remind me to do that after the video, guys. And you've got, you know, my Attack on Titan bag, which I use when I'm going out for stuff. You know, a bunch of things. That's from when I got my phone upgraded. My guitar, you've seen that before. Just a bunch of claws and a bunch of mess. But now comes the rest of the setup. Yeah, it does not look good at all. It really freaking doesn't. I've got my light set up though, which is incredibly br uh, bright. <laughs> so I do apologise if that blinds you. But I've just got my mic box on the floor for now because I can't think of where to put it. I've had to set up my Xbox there because I actually have a fun story to tell you about this. Now, this is actually my bed. This is actually a part of my bed. This bed is usually, that is usually turned that way. And the same with another section up there is turned that way so that it forms my bed. But I couldn't fit in my TV stand over there with my TV without moving this and making it all split and weird. So I split it apart, I know the mattress there kind of hangs off. The scary thing is I put my knee on there so many times to reach something and it started bending and I just got, oh fuck, and almost fell over. <laughs> it's kind of funny. 
But this actually comes in handy, as you can see. I just got a bunch of stuff dumped on there for the time being, but it comes in really handy for just, just like having stuff there and putting stuff on. And if I, when I'm getting dressed, you know, that won't be there, so I'll just be sat there getting changed and stuff. But like, literally, that is all the walk room I have in this bedroom. That is all. I can't even get in there properly anymore. I actually did that about 10 minutes ago because I couldn't actually. I, I put that there so I can use my Ethernet cable from my computer and my Xbox because my connection for on my Xbox isn't very good for whatever reason. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly climb on this. Oh yeah, that feels good, baby. Oh, do some stretches, do some squats. Ah, so now we're sat down here. This is pretty much where I'm gonna be recording videos from now on. I've got my microphone set up there. That's gonna be a bit quieter, but luckily I should be able to work around it. That is actually my TV. Like I've got it set up on my TV. That's another reason why I did this setup. Because instead of using a standard monitor, which is preferred, I know it's probably the better option, it was a lot smaller. It's like a quarter of the size of this TV. So I can use my TV now to record while I'm playing games and stuff. I'm gonna be testing out more of this setup after this video. Also, a quick bit of news you may have seen on the way past. I actually got Doom today, so I will be playing that on the channel next week, hopefully. It's actually currently installing on my Xbox One. <laughs> so yeah, now the reason why I've done this as well is because of the fact that because I've got shoulder and arm issue, uh, shoulder and back issue issues and neck issues because I was sat on that really horrible stool I had nothing to lean on. I have this wall so what I can actually do behind me here is actually one of my pillows. I can prop that up behind me. Oh that feels so good. It feels yummy yummy in my tummy. And also at the same time I've actually got my mouse on the mouse pad. It's not really the best of ideas I know but as long as I have sensitivity on high for some things I should be okay. But I've got a pillow set up here just to contain a bit more stability because if, if I put that just on the bed it just goes like that constantly and just keeps falling off the mat so I've got the pillow set up though so that as you can see the mouse stays where it is and also at the same time I've got that back little rest so I can rest my arm on it because that's something that I had with my desk as well I couldn't really rest my arm on the desk properly it was like that constantly reaching outwards and it was just really really horrible and really achy and painy now I didn't actually realize I'm gonna have to rearrange my setup a little bit but that light actually isn't bright enough I thought it was like bright enough to reach over here. Or I could just take the umbrella off and point it this way. Anyway, that umbrella is going to not be like that after this video. And my PlayStation eventually will be set up as well. I'll probably just replace it with where my Xbox is for when I'm playing PlayStation games. And also for you Kingfish Ocean veterans out there that may have been on the channel for probably about over a year or so, as well as the fact that the green screen's gone and all that, now I actually realise that one of the best things is I can actually use my green headset again, which I freaking have really missed because it's better than using iPhone headphones. I mean, iPhone headphones are pretty good, but I just prefer the headset overall. But it means I can use that headset again, so I'm going to have better quality audio, for me anyway. <laughs> it won't affect the audio of the game. That'd be really weird. And I'm also thinking that I'm probably going to have my uh, camera set up somewhere over here or in that gap there or in that gap there, pointing across to where I am, but I've still got to play around with that yet. But anyways, guys, that was just a short video on the setup, just to, like I said, it was a mini update because I didn't want to just suddenly just be like, hi guys, yeah, I'm recording a new setup and videos like I usually do. I thought it'd be better to actually explain to you all who, you know, because I might do it in an Undertale video or something and you guys might not want to watch the Undertale video, so you might not see it, and you might not hear about, you know, the new setup or whatever, but I thought I'd just let you guys know what's going on, so if you see any changes, then you'll know why. The only kind of issue that's a bit boring with this setup for me is just the fact that I've just got this plain background. I could probably put a poster behind me, which could work out. I could probably put, like, you know, a Life is Strange, I don't know. Just put a poster up behind me just to make it look a bit more decorative, but I don't know yet. I'll see how it works out. But this setup is pretty much a work in progress, so it will probably change a few, a few times over the time that I'm using this setup because I've kind of just put this together in the last couple of days. I've not really had the chance to try it out properly and to test everything yet because of the fact that I've just been so goddamn busy over the past two days. But that was the setup. Now I want to give just a very quick little update on stuff on the channel. I want to let you guys know that yes, I am still working on Genocide from part freaking fall at like the ending. Oh my god, Sans is such a pain to beat, I swear. If I ever beat him, then I deserve a cake from everyone in the world because my word, that is going to be tough. But like I said, I do have... Doom now, therefore I will be playing that on the channel sometime next week. And then after that, I was actually debating about this, whether to do one or the other first, but I actually got Unravel yesterday as well. Now that game's a really beautiful game, I already know what happens, it's not really got too much story to it in a sense, but I already kind of know what the story is about. But it is a really cool looking game, it is really pretty, really beautiful story, so I thought, you know what, I want to share that with you guys, I want to play that on the channel. That and it was on sale. <laughs> So we'll be playing those on the channel sometime soon. Doom will be coming first because I figured because it's a newer game, I feel like you guys would want to see the newer game first. Whereas Unravel has been out for quite some time now, so it might be a bit more boring. Plus some of you have been asking for me to do first person shooter games on the channel, like campaigns. So I thought Doom's the perfect game for that because I've been wanting to play that for a while. But anyways guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to slap that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Pip, pip, toodaloo!
Kingfish Fridays, yeah. Tell it, my name is Kingfish, and welcome back to more Kingfish Fridays. I'm wearing a hat this week because. I'm